If you're interested in stuff like puzzles and games and different things, that cybersecurity is more or less like that because at the end you are protecting your organization from uh, malicious attackers or uh, malicious insiders. So you don't have to be a computer graduate to join cybersecurity, by the way. You have to be up to date all the time because threats are always emerging and that's what cybersecurity is. Assalamualaikum, Tariq. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing great. Okay, let's start with a brief introduction. Tell us about yourself. So, my name is Muhammad Tariq Bashirwan and I'm the head of security at Programmers Force. I'm overlooking the security department here. So, what inspired you to pursue a career in cybersecurity and how has your journey unfolded since then? Well, uh, initially I didn't plan on joining cybersecurity. I was a web developer back then, but I was put in a role in my previous organization by force, sort of. Um, in cybersecurity and ever since then, over the last 10 years, I have um, been in cybersecurity and that's pretty much it. I didn't plan on joining cybersecurity. All right. Uh, what advice would you give to new students or recent graduates aspiring to pursue a career in cybersecurity? All right. Um, well, cybersecurity is not a typical IT career. Um, it's something that you have to be continuously up to par with. So if you are interested in, it's, how should I put it? It's more of a um, uh, career where you have to be more uh, indulged in uh, adapting to environments, okay? So um, if you're interested in stuff like puzzles and games and different things, that uh, cybersecurity is more or less like that. And if you actually do live pu like puzzles, you will like cybersecurity because uh, what is hacking at the end? It's just playing games in sort of code. All right. Uh, can you sh share some practical steps that newcomers can take to gain hands-on experience and build their skills in cybersecurity? All right. So you don't have to be a computer graduate to join cybersecurity, by the way. Uh, you just have to know, uh, have a basic know-how about how IT works and you don't need, really need um, uh, to be ha good with programming because there are different fields in cybersecurity. Um, you, there's one, I can just spit it out, uh, the compliance part where you have to just write documents and policies and you have to ensure that um, uh, the processes are in place while well, uh, you have to be technically good on the other hand when you are doing security engineering so it's not just a single scope or single stream in cybersecurity so whenever you are joining uh, cybersecurity you have to have this in plan what do you plan to pursue um, secondly uh, before joining um, uh, before uh, joining cybersecurity, I think the best thing you can do is to have a basic hands-on experience with how things work, how the attackers might set. And for that, uh, there are free resources available over the internet. You can use Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and stuff like that. And that will give you an edge over other competitors. Uh, in your experience, what are the most sought-after skills or certifications that employers look for when hiring entry-level cybersecurity professionals? Well, um, when I talk about entry level, it's my personal belief that uh, cybersecurity is not an entry level uh, field. So you have to have some sort of an experience, but it's not certainly uh, that you cannot build that experience without um, uh, any proper work experience. Um, what I personally look at is if you have a couple of free certifications that are available, free but reputable. For example, there's uh, IC squared, certified in cybersecurity, uh, commonly known as CC. And then there is AWS Cloud pr Practitioner. So basically that gives you um, perspective about how cloud works. Those two uh, are important. But uh, if you are not uh, going to spend your time on certifications, I would definitely uh, be hiring anyone who has uh, any reputable score on these um, websites that I mentioned earlier. Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, or any other reputable service. How important it is for news professionals in cybersecurity to stay updated on the latest industry trends and technologies, and what resources would you recommend for doing so? Well, um, definitely you have to be up to date all the time because threats are always emerging, and that's what cybersecurity is. You have to be up to date all the time with the latest trends and with the latest technologies because your company will be uh, using one different um, stacks of technology. Um, you are going to obviously move anywhere else. You have to be uh, up to date with those stacks earlier before joining or after joining. You have to be always be up to date with the technological stacks. 
but on the other hand the most important thing is to be aware of the tactics of uh, how adversaries work because at the end you are protecting your organization from uh, malicious attackers or uh, malicious insiders so you have to be up to date with whatever the tactics there are and uh, i believe that's something that changes every other day and and for that you can follow different sort of resources over the internet um for example i must personally say i have um, google alert set up for um, different sort of data breaches and different uh, new threat actors on the other hand um you can follow different um senior resources in the industry for example i follow one of the greatest threat intelligence expert right now florian roth and different other guys so that's all all up to you which you like but uh it's better to stay up to date following someone else uh how do you see the role of formal education uh degrees and certification versus practical experience in preparing individuals for a success in cybersecurity career okay i might sound controversial but um i don't see formal education uh being that important in this field um well i've got electrical engineers in my team i've got uh, mechanical engineers in my team i have had psychologists in my team uh, so it doesn't really matter as long as you are adaptable and uh, you have a good eye for um, what we say identifying risks and threats so you, it, it's a controversial opinion i get it but uh, i don't really see formal education to be uh, that important however um you have to get trained it's really a tough field uh, there's a huge learning curve and you have to adopt it for it uh, but it's something you can make up um for without the formal education what are some common career paths or specializations within the field of cybersecurity and how can newcomers determine which path aligns best with their interests and strengths so um as i mentioned earlier um uh, there are multiple fields in cybersecurity right uh, one i mentioned earlier was compliance so grc is a common field uh, you can become a grc analyst and what you have to do is have your organization comply with different standards you work with policies you like work with procedures you work with audits and stuff like that on the other hand there's another important field um uh, for security operations where basically you might be working on a a platform seam where you are monitoring each and every uh, other activity in the organization and you can uh, can look at alerts whether for example someone tried to upload some sort of uh, confidential data over the internet that's uh, where you come in you catch that alert or maybe you find some malicious uh, application running or some attacker trying to launch an attack there that's where you come in uh, what is commonly known as blue teaming um the other part uh, is the last one where which is commonly associated with cybersecurity is penetration testing which uh, um in normal terms we call hacking so it, it's the most interesting part but you have to have uh, um, how should i say uh, you have to be very good at uh, identifying loopholes and things so if you are going to choose any of these it's plain and simple if you are uh, Uh, okay with more of a desk job and uh, operational and administrative tasks grc is for you if you think you are really good with engineering side of things and deployments and uh, identifying threats then um, identifying different uh, malicious patterns that would be security operations for you however if you think you are good at puzzles and you like to play around with finding loopholes and stuff like that that's where penetration co- testing comes in Uh can you share any insights on the importance of networking and building professional relationships within the cybersecurity industry especially for those who are just starting out Well not just cybersecurity you have to have uh professional relations in every field So um talking about cybersecurity specifically uh, it really helps to have a mentor uh you have to learn from other exp- uh, experience their um for example um if i talk about myself i don't really have a practical uh, experience in uh, the private sector i connect with some people and they really help me out uh, adjusting to this side of things similarly if you are entering a field um and you are going to choose which side you are going to follow up with uh, of cybersecurity which stream you are going to follow it really helps to have someone who has the uh, experience of each and everything uh already in the industry so that they can guide you better according to your expertise you don't want to make a wrong decision in the start of your career which would uh, have you might come up regretting a couple of years later secondly um 
people with experience they really help you um, with different resources different um, news items etc they help they, that really helps you with um, improving your career earlier on uh, finally based on your career journey uh, what do you believe are the key qualities or attributes that contribute to a long term success and full fulfillment in the field of cyber security i must say though uh, only thing here is persistence uh, you have to be persistent at what you do uh, cyber security uh, is a game of patience and persistence so whatever you're doing um, you have to be persistent on it and you'll eventually end up somewhere better uh, thank you so much for joining us thank you for having me dafis <laughs> <laughs>